Hi, it is um, Tuesday, November 25th, 12.43 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I am going to do a video vlog again today, and I am combining two blog posts into one. Um, uh, basically, it's going to be about the importance of prayer and the second one that I kind of want to talk about this time is the more observation of the number sequences sequences and where it is now um, anyway I um, I guess the topic kind of came today because one I was thinking about how like Justin told me that he went to church on Sunday and also yesterday um, I had a conversation, at the, which is from the blog post from yesterday, that I had a conversation with Jatsin about a situation that she's in, that she doesn't she know when and how to act, right? And we were talking, and I, I mean, I kind of ran out of what to tell her, you know? And I just tell her, like, you should just pray to God and ask for guidance, and that's why she's kind of resisted, you know? And I just kind of tell her, what did I text her back? Just so I don't get that wrong, you know. Um, na, 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 na. Oh yeah, I said God is everything and everywhere, honey. You know this. And then she sent me back a long, a long post, a long text, like telling me how, like you know, basically right, like remind, right, you know, that she need to ask God because at one point when she was at her at her low point moment she did ask for God for for help to for guidance and she got exactly it and she followed that and why not ask God again to help her out of this situation that she had basically followed what God had um, put in place for her you know And the, the, what she what what she shared with me is so. It's such a beautiful story, really, of like how she did pray to God and how how she say what this this is what she said to God and how it it God did answer her, you know. And today I um I mean you no know, since I since after my time in jail here and coming back out and starting to reconnect with all my friends again. I just see the blessing in 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 the love that I have that my friends have been giving me, despite my trial and tribulations and my craziness. Um, all my, not all, you know, I don't know all, but many of my friends are still my friends, and they are still there, and they, they still providing me with the love and the kindness, and I do attribute that to praying because when I pray. I am able to be as close as possible to the virtues of God. You know, I mean, we are all sinful and we do do sin things, sinful things, but prayer helps. And like today, you know, I went out to dinner with Roger and we, we had a really good time and it just reminded me again now how how God has has basically answered me. I mean, throughout the years, I even though I didn't pray to God every day, every morning and every night like I do now, I did pray from time to time. I, I mean, I always talk to God, but I didn't pray like you know in the morning and night. But whenever I did pray throughout these many years, God did tell me that at some point. I, I mean, at some point, which I should, I need to link back to that answer that God gave me one day. One day when I prayed to God, because I was in such pain. I was, I was in so much pain. Um, actually, I should pause this video and find that. Okay, so, <laughs> found it, finally. Um, I think, um, basically, I was in such pain in 2010, big pain, one of the big pain, okay, um, at that time I was basically 
breaking up with Matthew, I was losing Matthew, I was losing Matthew, and um, I, I, a, um, a part of me was starting to realize that I'm going through some kind of a spiritual awakening or something, and um, I created a name, or my consciousness create, created a name, or not created, but let me know the name of this other side of me, and I, the name is Nathaniel, his name is Nathaniel, and the last name came to be Ar Arundel, <laughs> I don't know why, but one, one night, one night I, I was so sad and upset, and I started to like, kind of like, crying to God, just like saying like, well, Am I gonna be in pain all of my life? Because you know, my life has been a lot of pain. I go through so much pain since I was little, you know, since I was young, and I just feel like there is no end to my pain, to my suffering, to my to this journey that I'm on, you know. Even though I know that I'm learning for a purpose or something. And then something something that was like my 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 one of my beginning experience of having a, the source, I'll just call it the source, the source, um, telepathically communicate with me by downloading certain f information back into my head as if it's like answering me, you know, like all my free writing that I've been doing since 2012, it comes to me, you know, and I all I do is I just put them down on paper. But this was more like an answer as I was like in in my in my house, kind of crying, I was crying, and then it just come into my head, and I just started writing it down as like as if it's communicating with me, right? And here here's what it said. Um. Um. They said I I wrote down I am here to do God's work through hell and fire I bleed. Never give up and never surrender, even when in doubt my faith is true. When I say how much longer, God says to the end of your day. When I ask shall I ever feel joy, God says your day shall come. When I say please give me strength to conquer my fears, to never question the tasks I must do, God says believe that you have a purpose. God says believe my love is divine, unknown to many and can be felt through many. And I didn't... I forget about I forget about this until recently, like until like today or yesterday when it came back. Well, not 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 today. Yesterday, um, through, while I was in jail, after I, I left jail, this time it's like everything suddenly get better, you know. Which is I want to do another blog post on on like staying having faith and like staying true and waiting like, and like, waiting for the blessing but that like basically what I th I've been thinking about you know that like, God had had promised me at one point that my day shall come when I feel joy and this past two weeks has been freaking amazing It's been really amazing, and I feel like God has kept the promise, even though my my battle, my my mission to be a warrior, will never end until the end of my day. But the joy, the promise that I will feel joy, which feel joy, I believe, has come. You know, and I think the prayer is important. Because when I pray, I get those messages. When I pray, I, s I get more definite signs. You know, you can call it law of attraction or power of manifestation, which I know is not the same thing as praying and, and see those things, you know. But it's still similar. It's still, it's still similar. Like when I, 
I ask, <laughs> when I ask, kind of like putting out there, I mean, I know it's part of power of manifestation and using law of attraction, but I did say to God, uh, what, uh, what should I cook for Tony's birthday? And then, like the next day, or uh, two days, I went over to, I went to dinner with Rocky and Holly, and I ordered this corn fritter as an appetizer, and when I ate it, I was like, holy shit, this is it. This is what I've been one been asking like for an idea to cook for his dinner. It was the corn fritter, and I asked the waiter, <laughs> the waitress, like the like the what's the sauce is made of, and she kind of told me, you know. So I recreated, and people loved it. So you know, that's just that example. And um, and I don't mean to just pray to God. It's, I just talk like of the power of prayer in general too, because I just started to talk to Satan in uh, 2013 while I was in San Diego because uh, basically I was in his lair and I was freaking out and I asked basically I felt like I need to talk to God and Satan <laughs> really to k for protection you know for help and did I get it I felt that I get it, even though it 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 was very confusing how that works and I don't know why Satan has been a part of my life or why he communicates with me and you know, I started praying to Satan like for real when I had a meta metaphysical meeting with him in September of 2014. And uh, since then, I started like to pray to Satan to like giving thanks to Satan, just because, just because. And you know, I I was still kind of going back and forth between wanting to be on the side of the light or should I be on the side of the dark or can I be neutral? You know, but I don't think God wants me to be neutral. In this lifetime, I I, I I mean over the years, a lot of things has shown to me that my the side that I need to choose is the light. And and because I kept going back and forth, especially in September and October, I mean it was going right down the the, the deep dark side. I I I, I kind of was. So I started praying to Satan too, and I feel like the jail time was and the book that I was reading there it was like kind of God telling me that I need to stop doing that but either way it is it does go to show the importance of prayer because it works both ways you know and sometimes it takes a long time to see the result of what we pray for and sometimes we don't get exactly what we want Sometimes we just don't. Sometimes the things that I get back as an answer is exactly the opposite of what I thought I would get. Or sometimes it's even more painful, you know. And I have learned to uh, to accept the answer, or to accept the result, to surrender to God, to God's plan, God's will, and not to be all about what I want. I just have to trust that the ultimate outcome is for the best of all. And I think that prayer in general is not really about asking for what I want. It's really just so that I can hear, just so that I am in a state of mindfulness, in a state of attention, in a state of awareness, where I can hear, I can see the sign more easily every day, and not I can notice them easier. And for me to take it in and not to be stubborn or not to have doubt that is, you know, sometimes we all have doubt. You know, throughout the years, I think throughout the years, um, it was also my training to not doubt the messages and the signs that that God or the universe or the source provide to me, because. In the past, I did have a lot of doubt about if it's just all in my head, you know? If it's just me making it up. But it has been shown to me that when you have faith, you know that it's real. So now I, um, I pray every day. I pray, I make sure I pray every day now because God has shown to me that God has been there for me, is there for me, and 
for me not to just give a time of my day to give thanks or to ask for guidance. It's just ridiculous. You know? It's like not being respectful when I don't pray. So I pray. And being in jail, the fact that I was protected and guided and uh, and received so much love from the people around me in in that kind of place just just goes to show to me that I must pray I must at least give thanks and ask for forgiveness. So this is part two to my blog, to my video blog today because I just don't feel like making it into two separate ones. The second thing that I want to talk about is um, the activation number sequences because I've been seeing them since I think it started in 2010 when you know that 11-11 people see and over the years the sequence changed and in the beginning I thought it was cool I thought it was interesting I thought oh my god something is happening you know at that time it was like all about 2012 right everybody was like what is gonna happen in 2012 I was like oh my god this is like the sign that some shit is happening in 2012 it, it happened it happened in terms of on the spiritual plane. It's not everybody notice it. But it happened. Anyway, and over the years the number of sequence have changed for me and has grown in other numbers. Um of course, in 2011, I think, is when I started to see 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 3, 4. But it took a long time, a long time, many years, until I started to see 2, 3, 4. I think I didn't start to, to see 2, 3, 4 until 2012, like the end of it. Or like in 2013, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, sorry. And then I see all of it, like, you know, 3, 5, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9. But what has been interesting this this week, this week it was that on Saturday, which was the day that I started my block up again, I saw one two three and one two three four, right? And yesterday Sunday I saw two three four, and then today I saw five four three, which is basically three four five backward. Now sometimes it does that, which I don't know why. Um, I've been wanting to ask Joanne of Joy and Sacred Scribe, who I go by. Who is the whose website has a firm with me about these numbers when I started seeing them like so that I didn't think I was going crazy or just making it up in my own head. Um, but I should really talk to her why I see them backward sometimes. So I just find it interesting that the past two three day the sequence is one, two, three, then two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. And uh, like I said, sometimes I go back to it too, like today, this morning, I saw one, two, three and nine oh nine again. Like it goes backward just jump backward while also moving forward. It's like a, 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 a swing. You know, that clock thing, I don't know what they call it. Like, they go tick, 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 you know? And I also saw a shit tons of other number today, which I kind of, I mean, I see numbers every day, but I decided to just write them down today, um, just for the heck of it. And like, you know, like 151202212, blah, 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 blah. But the funny thing is, I've been seeing a lot of 151 lately since October. Um, since October, yep, I, I've been seeing them. I don't know what that means. Um, and in October, I saw the whole entire one number, one sequence, like 111, And when I was out in Arcadia with Justin, in the week of the end of uh, la, 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 what September, I saw the entire sequence. Like literally, I saw the entire sequence. 
just kind of like one day back in 2010 when one day I saw the entire sequence of 1 1 2 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 7 7 8 8 9 9 0 0 0 and that was the day that I was like holy shit it completed I haven't told I the last number that I saw was like 99 or 0 0 0 and I was driving with Matthew in a car in Tampa and I, when I saw that I was like holy shit it just completed <laughs> Matthew just kind of laughing at me at the time Oh, I just look up 151 on your sacred scribe and say that 151 is a message that your positive thoughts and intentions are manifesting very rapidly right now and this will bring uh, about beneficial and important life changes. Interesting. Well, anyway, um, I'm going to keep, um, I want to really keep track more of these activation numbers because I find it really interesting. Um, Right now, I like I said uh, basically the one two three three four two three four three four five sequences seem to be restarting faster and and complete faster and the nine zero nine now when I always associate with the beginning or the end when I see them and like I said it's, it's before it takes a longer time to like complete them but now it's a lot shorter. Well, anyway, this is Nat what this is Nat Natty Ice Nathaniel. Artemis Shepard, um, thank you for watching. I hope it makes sense to you.